if you do not intend to use that pressure and that heat to become a diamond, what are you even going for? You're really just wasting your time. And when I say that, it's not for anyone else to decide. It is your choice. Other people don't get to tell you who you are. Other people don't get to decide for you which way you're going to go. You have to feel it. You have to make it your choice. Anything outside of that is unacceptable. And then once you realize, oh, holy shit, you know, I haven't been very patient for, you know, pretty much my entire fucking life. So now, how do we go about regaining that patience? It was there once. As a kid, you were able to sit there and observe. For one reason or another, you felt the need to sit there and thoughtfully observe before you were told otherwise, I guess, in a lot of situations, or you felt the need to do otherwise. There was a deep understanding of patience because back then you didn't have all of the options that you think you do now. And in a lot of ways, you had countless options that you were told that you didn't have now. It goes both ways. Complete freedom lends itself, mentally I'll say, lends itself to a patience. Patience isn't just sitting back and allowing everything to happen to you. Patience is thoughtfulness. Patience is aggressive. Patience is powerful. Patience is powerful timing used in a powerful way. Patience isn't just sitting around waiting for everything to happen. It's not just letting things happen to you. Patience is an understanding that there is a way to go about this that I can deeply affect what I need to to make sure that this goes correctly for me and the people that I care about. Patience represents so much more than just sitting there waiting. It's not just waiting. There, there's, no, there's no waiting. There's so much to do. That doesn't mean you're, you're not just doing nothing when you're being patient. You're constantly evaluating. You're constantly observing. Everything means something different when patience is applied properly. You understand the process that you're dealing with. It is a reflection of your understanding of the situation. It's not just twiddling your fucking thumbs in the corner. There's always something to do. Patience is not lazy. Patience is also not procrastination. Patience is thoughtfulness applied at the appropriate time. Patience is everything. And if you are not striving to be a more patient person, if you are not thinking about how you can be more patient, you're not thinking about things properly. Straight up, it is really that simple. It's not, well, I'm just going to allow them to do more and more and more, or I'm just going to do less and less. It's never less and less. It's a deeper understanding of how much you actually can do. And there is a limit to that as well. And that's where patience meets timing. Patience is action. Patience is not ever in action. Patience is the right timing at the right moment, applied the right way. Sometimes you got to wait a million years to become a diamond. But when you know you are in the right spot to do it the right way, you have to trust yourself. And if you find out that that wasn't the right way to go about it, patience, patience in the understanding that you are working towards what your final goal is and you're doing it the right way. You're not just going to knock it out of the park. First things first, patience. For yourself, just as much as everything else, for the circumstance, requires patience. 
for yourself. It requires patience. You're not going to find the perfect circumstances right away. But then once you do and you realize that you, your patience has earned you the correct understanding, it is unmistakable. You got to be good to yourself to allow for the patience for everything else. Just like you can't lie to yourself to make sure that you aren't lying to everyone else. You have to be patient with yourself to make sure that you are able to be patient with everything else. Give yourself time. It takes time. Everything takes time. You got to learn it the right way. And you have to be patient. You have to catalog things the right way in your mind. You have to make sure that your filing system is accurate and you are using it successfully to define things properly. And patience is the backbone of every one of those things. Sometimes it really is just the right move to just sit there and wait. Sometimes you just got to let them be done with their turn, whoever you're playing against. It really is just their turn sometimes. What does that mean? Does that mean you overextend and plow straight into their turn while they're taking it to try and throw them off? A lot of the times, no. Because that's just going to fuck up your next turn because you weren't patient enough. So you don't just let them be done with it, exhaust their resources. Okay, now it's my turn. I was patient and now I can make the best decisions with the most information possible. No, if you just plow into their turn and you haven't recovered your ability to take your turn next, you have just fucked up your turn. You weren't patient enough. You didn't feel the rhythm of the game. Patience manifests it in every single way. Sometimes you just take it on the chin and that's what patience looks like. Sometimes this just isn't your day. Sometimes it's just not your week. Sometimes it's just not your month. Sometimes it's just not your season. Maybe the meta just doesn't work very well for you right now. And this season of 17 or season three just wasn't your season. Guess what? If you're patient, you're thinking to yourself, you know what? Next season, that's my season. Just wasn't working for me this time. Just wasn't working for me today. Just hasn't been working for me this week. I got to reevaluate. I got to be patient with myself. I'm not just going to go straight to fucking ripping my heart out of my chest and staring at it and saying, why aren't you good enough? No, that's not helpful. That's not useful. It's not the truth. Be patient. Take your time. Today, didn't have it. And you know what? That happens. But when you think about it right and you're patient, it not being today, what that actually means is tomorrow, I get a good chance of it making it my day. So I'm going to learn from what went improperly today, whether it was wrong or not. If it didn't go the way that I wanted to, I got to recognize that. Was I doing the right stuff? Was I adhering to my rules? Was I welding the prop properly? Maybe, yeah, there's a good chance, yeah, if you're really being thoughtful about it, sure. Maybe it's time to take the rest of the day to reevaluate your weld and reevaluate the way that you went about it. Sometimes, you know what? I just lost four in a row. I'm not feeling it. Instead of playing four more, I'm just going to I'm just going to take that time and I'm just going to VOD review what went wrong. And I'm just going to make a laundry list of all the things that went wrong. And then I'm going to take my syrup, I'm going to take my weld, and I'm going to apply that to this, and I'm going to cut down on this list. What actually went wrong? Did I just maybe just miss a few times that I couldn't afford to miss? And then I lost those trades, and that became the weak link in our situation. That's entirely possible. But you're never going to be able to recognize that if you aren't patient with yourself. If you just go straight to, oh, I'm just fucking so bad all the time. And I'm just going to lie to myself a bunch. And I'm just going to beat myself up. And I'm just, I'm just going to be really fucking angry at myself. Well, then you haven't learned about all of those things. 
if you're just taking the fucking easy way out and just punching yourself in the head over and over, you haven't actually learned anything. That is unacceptable. You need to be patient and take the time to consider what actually happened. Say, you know what? A lot of these rounds were decided by a matter of centimeters. If my bullets were just a handful of inches to the left or right, there's a very good chance that I did what I needed to do to win these games. That is possible. That's very possible. That's not a time to make a bunch of excuses and then start blaming everyone else. Well, I, I, I basically did my part. So now what the fuck? Why? So now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to start bot reviewing everyone else on my team and see how fucking bad they are. That's not patient. That's not what a patient person does. A patient person notices how all of it came together and they think, shit, you know what? Hey, we were almost there. We were right there. We, with just a few tweaks, we could have won this game. That should be good news to you. We were that close. We were that close to winning. That's good news, not bad. If you only focus on the outcome and that's all that matters to you, that is extremely impatient. You're just fucking punching a bunch of keys over and over, waiting for the flashing lights to be done just for the defeat screen to tell you whether you did good or bad or not. That's fucking pathetic. That is not what's actually occurring. That is not how you affect winning over a long period of time. Patience. Results oriented mindsets are not patience ones they are not the right way to think about it just 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 the results at the end of the screen and looking at everyone's kdas so, oh well he did bad look at that oh and eight that guy dying that eight times very well may have been absolutely necessary for everyone else on your team to have done their job to follow up Sometimes people just got to fucking die. There is value in being the first domino to fall. That doesn't mean that they were doing a bad job. It means they were filling a role on the team that led to victory in many different ways. Don't fucking, you didn't see every moment of their fucking gameplay. Don't pretend like you're just omnipotent. No, I fucking know that this guy is just fucking up all the time. That may be the case. We may have fucked up a bunch of times in a row. Guess what? Now, we were that close. And with someone doing that poorly on our team, we were still that close. That's still good news. If you're patient, you recognize that as good news. That's good news. You were still that, oh, damn. Just a few rounds away from taking it, and those people were playing well. They did enough to win, and we did not. But what can I actually glean? So now, what did they do? How did they take advantage of this guy that was the weak link on our team? Let's figure out what they did to that guy. Maybe I can do that to someone else. Glean a few advantages from the defeat, from your failure. Except that guess what? If you learned something from it and you won a bunch of games from doing what those people did to your weak link, did you really lose that game? The answer is no, by the way. In case you didn't say no out loud, the answer was no. You won. You learned. You got better. You won. Be happy about that. You're winning. You're constantly winning because you have been patient with yourself, right? Patience is deeply ingrained within every single aspect of learning. If you are impatient, you are not good at learning. If you're not good at learning, that's a fucking problem. In case you haven't figured that out yet. Not like you need to learn in a different way and that's the best way for you to learn. That's not what I'm talking about. If you don't take the time to genuinely consider everything that is actually happening around you, you don't take the time to put the fucking ego away. You don't take the time to critically think for yourself. You are not learning properly. 
learning disability or otherwise. Anyone can do that for themselves. It's going to take a different amount of time for everybody. But regardless of how long it takes, patience does not waver. Patience is there to help guide you when it's hardest. Patience is a loving embrace. If it feels like it hurts, that's not patience. Sometimes it's got to hurt. Sometimes you got to take your lumps. But how does it feel after that? What is your understanding of the situation beyond the situation occurring? Are you being patient with the way that you understand all of this stuff? At the time when I was driving in all of that traffic, I was not being the most patient person, but I was being relatively way, way more patient than everyone else. That was the key to my understanding. I'm going to get there. Bottom line, I am going to get there. And however long it takes for me to get there, that is the fastest that I can get there. I'm going to do it safely. Everybody else that's just flying past me doing all this shit, I'm going to make space for them. You want, you need to be in front of me. Here you go. Safely. I'm giving you enough space. I'm going to do everything that I can to keep you from crashing into me. I can't keep you from crashing into anything else, but I'm going to do what I can to make sure that it's not crashing into me. That's all that I've got. And I have prevented so many accidents in my life. I lost count so long ago. It's not funny. It is truly not funny. I've prevented so many accidents just by just go. We are not racing. This is not a race. We are not competing in this arena. We all have to get to wherever we're going safely. And the best way to do that is patiently. And then once you realize how patient you can be for yourself, it's so much easier to extend that to everyone else. Oh, well, they're just, they're just where they are on their journey too. I'm not going to fuck them up and just go after them and call them the worst shit ever just because they are where they are in their journey. That is not a race. You may be racing in game, but your own individual progress and the individual progress of everyone else, that's not a race. That requires patience. And just like everything else, all of that also requires patience. Competitively, patience is required. And it gives you so, 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 so many advantages. Just in the exact same way that you have to allow other people to make mistakes in a good way, the people on your team, so that they can learn and become better, you have to allow your opponents to make mistakes, to give you an advantage, to give you that opening, to give you the opportunity. When it's their turn, you have to let them fuck their turn up. When it's your turn, you have to take your time and make sure you aren't fucking your turn up. 